Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And yes, uh, MDT 2013 with Windows 10 and Copy Profile. So let's get started. So first things first, I am running everything under Windows Server 2016 Standard Technical Preview 5. Running the latest and greatest operating system. And also running the latest MDT 2013, I believe, Update 2. And we are pushing out Windows 10 64-bit enterprise and we're using the copy profile method so the first thing that i did behind the scenes was i got a copy of windows 10 enterprise and i created a task sequence now the task sequence is somewhat where the magic happens well the beginning of the magic trick so let's double click on this guy and it's not really nothing special with this task sequence except one little area i'm gonna show you guys right now let's go to the task sequence and the only thing that i added is this i added this suspend task sequence that's the only thing that i added within the task sequence mdt already provides you this script so it's not something that you could download online uh, you just have to go inside the script folder and there's a lti suspend.wsf so what's going to happen it's going to deploy the operating system once you get to the desktop part it's going to suspend the deployment and then you're able to do whatever you want to do within your environment. It's going to start installing your applications. And then we want to capture this. Okay. So I'm going to cancel that. And I'm going to right click on my deployment folder and go to properties. Now within my rules, I actually told it to not skip the capture part. Okay. The reason why I told it not to skip the capture part, because within my MDT server, I created a partition within my virtual machine, the D drive. And I have captures. I created a folder. This is where I want to drop my capture WIM image. Let's refresh this folder. And I don't have anything in here. Okay. No magic tricks. No behind the scene tricks. Okay. So let's close that up. And again, the only thing that I did within my custom settings was I just told the skip capture to say no. If you say yes, you can always customize the custom setting to automatically go and, you know, drop it in there. But I would like to actually see it. So let's uh, press OK. Um, I'm going to right click my production and do a update deployment share and let's click next and we are click next. Awesome. While that's doing that, let's go inside my host machine. Let's go into F drive. Let's create a folder and I'm going to call it BJ dash test V1. Okay. V1 is where this operating system is going to be deployed and we are going to capture this. Okay. But again, we're using copy profile. So stay with me. Awesome. So let's hit finish on that. Let's go to file, new machine, uh, next, next. We are pushing out a Windows 10 machine, 64. Click on next. We are going to drop it in that path that we just created together. And this virtual machine is going to be called V1 test V1. Click next. I'm only going to give it, let's say 25 gigs, real small. Click next, finish. Awesome. Power this on. And I'm going to say no on that. And I'm going to press F12. So I need to get into the Pixie boot. There it goes. Uh, and we're deploying a 64-bit operating system. So I want to boot inside the 64-bit um, environment. Okay, so our deployment is here. I didn't really customize my custom settings i9 file to skip this part and automatically log in into my deployment. So I'm going to do everything manual which is okay. Again, this is a testing environment, but if you guys have seen my other videos, how to customize this, go check that out because it would make your life easier. So I'm logging into the deployment to start it off. Make sure you're using an account that has full access to your MDT deployment. If not, it will not work correctly. So we are going to click. Okay. So awesome. We only have two task sequences within our MDT. So I'm going to show you guys right here real quick task sequences. That's it. This is the special one. This is the one that's going to suspend the process of the deployment. And then we're going to do whatever we need to do. Right. And then uh, we're going to start the process again once it finished. And then it's going to start capturing it. So we are going to go back into our uh, V1 machine. We are going to pick our Windows 10 task sequence and click next. I'm going to change the name. Let's change the name to something a little better. Let's call BJ dash test V1. Awesome. We are going to click next. I'm going to skip this to next. Next on this one. 
uh, change your settings right here. Again, you can actually do this all within the custom settings INI file. So we're gonna do it that way, click next. And we do wanna capture it. Now I'm not going to use the DNS name on my server. I want to use the IP address. And I'm going to right click here, going to open up a command prompt and do an IP config. And it is 188. And again, we are pointing it to another location. This is the default location. This is the deployment. But I don't want to point it there. Uh, 47, 188, right? And this is $D. And captures. I think I called it captures. So let's double check real quick. I want to drop it in here. There you go, captures. And if I right click on this folder, go to properties and go to sharing, uh, at is actually being shared out okay and the access that I gave this folder is everyone that's I just opened it up okay again there's nothing inside that folder beautiful and we spelled it right correctly is in the D blah awesome so we are going to click next and we're going to begin the process all right guys as you can see on the desktop it basically said that the task sequence was suspended and if I want to resume it, just click on this nice little uh, icon right here. But we're not going to do that as of yet because, again, we want to customize our machine. So when we use the copy profile and push out our custom WIM image, everything that we did on a desktop or taskbar or, you know, start menu copies over to a new, you know, a new account. So I'm going to say no for this, right? So first things first, let's uh, right click on the desktop. Let's just go a little crazy. Let's go into personalized. Okay, and from here, let's change the background. Let's change the background to something crazy. Let's, uh, let's do this one. I like that one, cool. Let's change the color. Let's change the color to something really weird. Let's call it purple. I want everything purple. Uh, theme, that's okay. Start menu. Occasionally show suggestions from the start menu. You definitely don't want that. Uh, show most used apps. Yeah, show recently added apps. That's up to you. Want to do a full stream? This I can't really tell you what to do. Just go in here and start playing around. Customize Windows 10 the way that you want it for your users. I changed the background. If I hit the start button, it's going to be purple. Now within the start menu, let's right click and start unpinning stuff from here. Unpin. I don't want this to be here and let's see let's shrink it down a little bit awesome that looks pretty legit uh, I'm gonna right click on the taskbar and I'm going to go to Cortana and show only the icon there you go so what we're gonna do is we are going to double click on this and it's gonna start the process it's gonna continue if you have any applications within your your deployment it's going to start pushing that out. And once it pushes out whatever applications you have or fonts or whatever custom settings you have within your MDT deployment, what's going to happen is it's going to shut down the machine and it's going to start capturing. And actually, before it starts or shutting down, now, before it starts shutting down, it's going to execute the SIP prep. Once it does that, it shuts down and then it's going to capture it, which is awesome. So I want to show you guys right now. Let's go inside my MDT server. Let's minimize our deployment workbench. I'm going to exit out of this command prompt. And I'm also going to close my WDS because I don't need that now. Let's open up our File Explorer. And let's go in the D drive. Let's go to Captures. And I don't have anything here as of yet. Let's refresh it. Nothing yet, right? And the reason why I don't have anything there yet because our virtual machine hasn't really rebooted and got inside the deployment part of capturing it. So... Uh, once that happens, I'm going to start the video and we're going to continue. All right, guys, it looks like our machine has rebooted. It's in the process of creating our WIM image. This is a great thing, but the copy profile process hasn't started yet. So you got to stay tuned. I know, I know it's, it's a long one, but you know what? It's worth it. So right now we're capturing our WIM image. We customize the background. We customize the taskbar. We customize the start menu. So right now it's capturing it. We are going inside our MDT server. And there goes our file. Let's refresh it. And it's capturing it. How beautiful is that? All right, guys. So our captured image uh, process has completed. Awesome. One thing I forgot to do within my deployment is I forgot to tell the task sequence to automatically shut down the machine. So as soon as I click on finish, what's going to happen is it's going to restart the machine again. And I don't want that. So I'm going to click finish. 
and it's going to restart and I don't want it to restart. So I'm going to right click on my virtual machine and I'm going to power it off, power it off because I don't need it anymore. Awesome. Great. So right now on my MDT, there goes our custom WIM image. So let me refresh it. It's about, I'll say four gigs, four, about 3.28 gigs of size, which is pretty big. So the next thing that we need to do is import this custom WIM image inside our MDT server. So we are going inside the operating system node and we're going to right click on it and we're going to import an operating system. We're going to get the import operating system wizard and the one that we want to pick is custom image file and we're going to click on next. We're going to tell it that it is located in our D drive. So let's go inside our D drive capture and there it goes how beautiful so we're going to click on next I'm gonna leave it as the default setup files are not needed so we're gonna click on next on that uh, destination source this is up to you we are going to do uh, let's call it win let's call it Windows 10 capture uh, capture image copy profile uh, version 1 okay so we are, you can call it whatever you want and we're going to click on next summary and click on next and it's going to start importing the operating system. Okay. So importing our custom web image is completed successfully. That's awesome. We're going to click finish. Uh, we're going to go inside a task sequence and I'm going to right click on it and we're going to create a new task sequence. The task sequence ID, you can call it whatever you want. I've been using 0003. So I got one, two, and then I'm going to do three. My task sequence is going to be copy profile uh, Windows 10 X64 task sequence version one. And we're going to click next. It's going to be a standard client task sequence. Click next. And we are going to pick our Windows 10 capture image copy profile version one. Click on next on that. Uh, we're not going to specify a product key and customize your OS settings. So it's BTN HD, organization BTN HD, and let's point it to a site. Let's point it to this guy right here. And uh, go to next, provide an admin password, make sure you remember it, jot it down, or put it inside your favorite uh, password database, which is your brain, which is free. <laughs> Click on next. Click on next and we are going to hit finish because it's completely done. Awesome. Cool. So the next thing that we need to do is double click on our new task sequence. We want to go into the OS info and this is where the whole copy profile process starts. So we want to click on edit unintended.xml. Now this process takes forever. Trust me. I will say it takes between 30 to 45 minutes. And I can't really tell you, it really depends. It just takes a while for it to start creating the XML file so you could do the modifications on the unintended file. But uh, go grab a cup of coffee. I'm going to stop the video right here. And once I get into the XML file to do the customization within the copy profile, we're going to continue. All right, finally, the unintended uh, .xml file loaded up. Again, it takes a while. And uh, let's bring it back. Where are you? Don't disappear me. There it goes. So what you need to do is we need to get into, I believe, the number four. And within number four, let me open this up a little bit. Okay, awesome. And the one that we need to get into is the shell setup. And as you guys can see right here, copy profile. It's not set to anything. So what we need to do is hit the drop down and hit it to true. Cool. Once you do that, we are going to hit save. Now, you got a bunch of kind of errors and it's basically like the horizontal resolution, the refresh rate. You can basically bypass that. It's still going to work. Uh, errors, files, do you want to continue? Yep. Save it because this is what we really need. We are going to exit out. Awesome. And the next thing that we need to do is deploy our machine or deploy our task sequence. So we are going to right click and I'm going to update our deployment share and click on next and next. Awesome. And while that's happening, remember we use BJ dash test V1. So what I'm going to do within my virtual infrastructure is I'm going to delete this machine. 
I'm going to completely delete it, right? Because I don't want you guys to think, oh, you're using the old machine. That's why it worked. So let's remove it. Let's go inside my hosts and F drive. And there goes that guy right there. So I'm going to do hold the shift key and delete it completely. Awesome. And we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call it BJ dash test V2. Okay. Because we're testing this thing out and we're going to make a copy of this guy. Excellent. So, and as you guys can see, it looks like our update, our deployments was successful. So we're going to click finish. And what I'm going to do is within my deployments, my WDS, I am going to replace my boot images. Uh, it's not something that you probably want to do, but I like doing it. Make sure that my boot images are nice and fresh. And we are going to browse inside our deployment, which is our C drive. And right here, go to boot, and we're going to pick the 86 one. So I'm just replacing them. I want a fresh boot images. Most of the time, sometimes when you have problems with your deployment, it's because you're running an old boot image. Just replace it, and then you should be good to go. Excellent. My 86 bit was replaced. Let's do the same thing with the 64. Okay, so our 64 bit replace uh, boot image is done. Let's click on finish. I'm going to right click on our WDS node, go to all tasks and restart it to make sure it's healthy and strong to, and it's going awesome. It's successful. So right now I'm going to do is file new virtual machine. I'm going to go next, next, and it is a windows 10 64 bit that we're pushing out. I'm going to paste that path that we did together and call it B2 click on next. I'm going to give it a small size because it's not a big machine. Click on next, click finish. Awesome. We're going to boot our virtual machine up and I'm going to get into it. Uh, click no. F12 to boot. Yes. So we're going to boot into the 64 bit. Okay. It looks like it wants us to uh, log in into our deployment. Again, I really didn't customize my custom settings INI file. So this is the reason why I have to do this. And let's log in. Make sure you're logging into uh, your MDT server with a, an account that has full access to it. If not, it will not run correctly. Awesome. So let's pick the task sequence that we created together. The copy profile windows 10 X 64 task sequence V one. This is the one that we actually went inside the unintended XML file to do the copy profile uh, process. And we are going to click next and we're going to change the name to something like BJ test V two, because that's the name that we created. You know, that's the name that we use for our virtual machine. We're going to click next, next, next again. Uh, change the time zone. Let's do Eastern time again. You can actually do all this within your custom settings. INI file. I didn't disable the capture image within my custom settings dot INI file. So this is the reason why it's still there. Uh, we're going to click next and we're going to begin to start our deployment. All right, guys, it looks like our deployment of our custom women image has completed with no problem. Let's hit no on this. Uh, no errors, which is always a great thing. But again, our copy profile. OK, so our background image is there. We did change Cortana, which is cool. It's it's there. How about the start menu? OK, we got the purple. All that gibberish stuff is gone. Now I'm logged in as an admin. So if I right click and go inside, let's go into computer management. Let's go inside local users and groups. Let's go to users. I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a new user. Let's call it uh, YouTube. Cool. So we're going to log out of this. Start. Let's click on the name and sign out. And let's sign in to our new account, YouTube. So if we sign into our new account, YouTube, we should have the same background. Our taskbar with the change of Cortana should be the same. Our start menu should be a little shorter as well as um, the color should be purple. 
Okay, it looks like we're logged into our new account that we created together, which is actually the YouTube one. Background came over. Uh, Cortana setting moved over. Awesome. The color and also the start menu has shrunk down, which is pretty awesome. So, all right, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video on how to use copy profile within MDT 2013 and Windows 10. Uh, leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to get the latest and greatest tips, tricks, and hacks from this guy. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.